Hey guys, Brad of 1894 Outdoors and welcome back to another video. It is incredibly hot in Pennsylvania today, so instead of metal detecting, I'm going to walk the creek looking for old antique bottles. Today I am at a ghost town that was around during the 1870s, and I know there's a lot of glass here just because walking the edge, there's glass coming out of the bank like crazy, and it actually looks like my brother found a big piece already. I don't know what he just popped out. Is it a jug bottom? Yeah, a big piece of a jug or a crock. And I want to show you guys the bank. So you can see here. Piece of glass there. Piece of something there. But over here, you can just see just how much glass is sticking out. Some amber, there's pieces of med. And you can just hear it. Big piece there. Definitely potential. Some med tops. Nice blue. There's definitely potential here. Hoping we can find some whole bottles, but if not, I'm just going to enjoy getting a little cooler because, like I said, it has been miserable. So we're just taking our time. Just walking down the creek. Real dark water, unfortunately. But there's a lot in here. I got this idea from Brandon with Adventure Archaeology. He is the expert at this. If you guys have not seen his channel, definitely go check it out. Absolutely love what he does. Oh, there's a brick. Let's check that out. No town on it. Nice little brick though. But like I was saying, if you're interested in looking for bottles in this creek, or in a creek, definitely check out Brandon's channel. It's amazing what he pulls out. There's some right there. Could this be my first bottle? Doesn't, nope, eh, it's a rock. Darn. Definitely takes a keen eye to do this. Well, I'll turn you guys back on when I find something interesting. Here's the bottom of some. Small flask, I guess. Like I said, there's glass everywhere. There's some more glass there. Never know what will come out of these banks. Well, this breaks my heart a little bit. For you guys that know what I collect, it's this right here. McKendrick whiskey from my local town. That's the faceplate. I'll bring this out with me. It's a shame it's broke. If it was whole, it'd be a like $80 bottle. But that's how it goes. Find a handful of pieces here. You can actually see somebody is digging here, which is a shame. They're leaving quite a big mess. It's not me, but I'd like to know what they're finding. Look at all the glass coming out. Tops, there's a whole bottle. Looks like a ketchup. Right there. That whole ketchup. I think this was a railroad dump through here. And like I said, I, maybe I need to come back here and dig myself. Bone right there. There's the top of a bottle. That whole one. Nope. It's definitely glass here. Never know. Look at the top, like top of a pickle jar Kevin just pulled out. But still. This at least makes my uh, walk up here worth it. It's raining right now, so we're kind of hunkering down, waiting it out. But while we were waiting, I found something really neat. Up on this hillside is a stone line well. I don't know how deep it is, there's a stick in there. It's pretty leaf covered. That's pretty cool, I did not expect that. I don't know why they built it on the hillside like that. Especially when they were, what, 15 feet from water? I don't really know the point of digging a well like that. What? Okay, I guess it's cleaner, I didn't know that. But either way, I'm gonna keep looking. The rain makes it really hard to look for bottles, but we're definitely finding stuff. Now we just need to find a whole one. Got some pieces here. Not whole, that's really decorative. It's pretty, and then there's something else under it. Nice jug piece. 
the rain's starting to slow down. They, it's a warm rain, it's really not that bad, but I am soaked, it's gonna be a long car ride home. But we came to cool off, so can't really ask for anything else. Keep looking, kind of on the way back now, but you can actually see in the water, which is nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, so far, everything's been broke besides that ketchup bottle. A lot of jug pieces, a lot of bricks, scrap metal. It's nice now that we can actually see. Um, but, again, you never know. And we could get on a pocket and there could be 10 bottles coming up. Hard to say. At least it's beautiful out. I'm really enjoying myself. There's so much ceramic here. But I also think it's because you can see the ceramic. This water's like iced tea. We think it actually drains from a lake and that's why it's so so warm and so dirty. It makes it really difficult. You really gotta take your time and look. He's getting a big piece out there. Piping. getting close to the end now unfortunately no whole bottles but again that's how it goes maybe next time we come back there'll be stuff washed out when the water gets a little higher still a lot of fun love exploring towns like this you just never know what you might find it might take a little bit and just dig around in the bank just for the rock or something and see if I can't pop something out quick before I leave but as for in the water, nothing really came. Kevin found a bottom of something. What's it say? 1886. Okay, so there's an 1886 patent date on the bottom of that bottle. That's quite an old one. Again, I'm going to dig around in the bank just for a little bit and see if anything will come out. But if not, I'm going to get heading home. All right, guys. It's getting dark. Didn't really find anything digging, so it's time for us to head home. If you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know. I know it's a little different, but... It was nice to cool off and it's just a little too hot to detect today. But I'll definitely be getting a video out metal detecting very soon. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, definitely leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to come back for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.